Today, I'm gonna to be sharing a few of my favorite ways to package sugar cookies and how you can take your sugar cookie business packaging to the next level. Hey y'all, I'm Sarah Grace. I teach online sugar cookie decorating classes that teach you specific royal icing techniques to take your cookie decorating up a notch. Having a toolbox full of royal icing decorating techniques helps you to create unique cookie designs that jump off the plate or the screen and grab your customer's attention. Head over to the link in the description or saragracecookieco.com and click on the shop tab to view online classes and resources for cookie decorators and cookie business owners. The great thing about being a small business and only having a few customers is that you're able to pay attention to those details when it comes to every part of your customer's journey with you. So, packaging is a big part of that experience and I wanna share a few of the tips and tools that make packaging a little bit easier. So the first step in my packaging process when I was making custom orders was to actually take photos of the cookies because you wanna make sure that you're able to share those on social media as well as in your portfolio after you're completely finished with the order. Now next, I heat sealed the cookies. And if you haven't heard of heat sealing, this is just where you place a cookie that's completely dry and finished decorating into a clear cellophane bag like this. You can get these bags at the Dollar Tree. You can get them on Amazon. I've created a blog post with links to all the things that I'm mentioning in this video. So click the description below to go and see all those links in that post but I just like to seal these. I use an actual vacuum sealer that I bought at Sam's. You can slip it in, pop it closed, and seal this. Um, it doesn't vacuum seal it, it just heat seals it, but you can find the heat sealers that kind of look like a hair straightener. You can find handheld ones. There are lots of different options when it comes to heat sealers, and I'll list a few of them for you in that blog post. However, I just use my vacuum sealer that I already have, and I pop it closed, heat seal it, and then cut the bag so that you're left with just a little pouch with a cookie in it. Now, if you don't have a heat sealer, if that's maybe in your list of things to get that isn't in the cards right now, you don't have to heat seal. You can still seal your cookies in a way that will help them stay fresher longer. You can use the peel and stick bags that you buy at Hobby Lobby. I think you can also get them on Amazon, but you just peel the bag back and it sticks to itself kind of fold it over like this and it'll create that sealed pouch. You can also twist it up like so and use one of the little twist ties that come with the cellophane bags and tie it together like this. And that will create a kind of semi-sealed, it won't last four weeks like the completely heat sealed cookies will, but it will last a little bit longer. You can also make this really cute and decorative by tying a ribbon onto that twist tie and creating a cookie with a ribbon on it. I also like to include maybe a little tag if I'm doing sets like this because you can sell these on their own individually as farmer's market gifts, as pre-sales or pop-up. You can just pop this little tag on there and it makes them super cute with the ribbon. Now, my favorite way to make tags like this is to use Canva.com. I love Canva. It's free. You can do a step-up version that gives you a few more options, but you can do most of what you need to do in the free version. I made some print and cut treat tags for you. We've got treat tags for every season. They've got cute little colors and sayings for different seasons of the year and different holidays. If you'd like to download those in the description below or in the blog post, they're listed as well. That's saragracecookieco.com forward slash treat tags for all seasons. That's all spelled out. saragracecookieco.com forward slash treat tags for all seasons. And you can get some cute little treat tags that will go with any of your orders. Now, you can package cookies individually like this, 
or you can pop them into a box if you're doing a large order. So I get these simple craft bakery boxes from amazon.com. They're super inexpensive. Um, I'll leave that link in the blog post as well. These are my favorites. These will hold anywhere from a dozen to two dozen cookies, depending on how many you do. And there are lots of different bakery box options. So I'll include those in the blog post as well for some different bakery box ideas. You can do some little clear boxes like this, and you can even do the little boxes that have sets of two in them and create different price ranges and set sizes that you can do at your pre-sales or in your pop-up shop. I love buying some of this paper shred from the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has got the best packaging, y'all. They've got everything. This paper shred is a dollar. Pop it in the bottom of the box like this. and it makes a super cute little nest for you to set your cookies on top of. Now, I recommend putting your brand on everything, everything. Make yourself a little logo using Canva or something, or I mean, even just type it out, however you wanna do it. You just wanna make sure that the name of your business and maybe even a little bit about how to contact you is on your packaging somewhere. And I like to use these Avery labels. These are the two inch Avery labels. You can go into the Avery software online. I think it's avery.com. Here, it tells it at the bottom of the label. Avery.com forward slash templates. And it'll let you upload a picture of your logo onto this template. And then once you get it uploaded, it'll give it to you so that you can print it. You print it out on your printer at home, then you have peel and stick ready to go labels that you pop on your box when you're ready. And it makes it look so much more professional and put together to have that little brand logo on there. You can also do this if you are a cottage food baker and you have to have a cottage food label. Um, the state of Tennessee didn't require a label the last time I checked, that was a while ago, so they could have changed by then but Alabama does so if you're in Alabama or if you're in a state that requires you to label with the ingredients and potential allergens that your cookies have then you might consider using some of the Avery labels that are a little bit larger to put your cottage food label on your packaging um, these are just super handy and you can print off a bunch at once and then you're able to just take them stick them and move on it makes your packaging process a lot quicker and easier. And I love adding ribbon to anything. If you, anytime you're able to add some kind of ribbon or decoration like it to a package, it's gonna make it look that much more professional and that much more custom, and it just makes your business stand out. So the three things I recommend when packaging cookies are, to recap, Sealing in some way, whether that is heat sealing, sealing with the peel and stick bags, or tying with a twist tie, make sure that those cookies are individually sealed in some way so that they stay fresher longer. Two, adding some kind of padding to your box, that way they don't just look naked. Three, buying a cute box. I've mentioned some of those in the video, but they'll be in that blog post where I list all of the links to find those on Amazon as well. Make sure that you have some stickers or tags available. Thank you so much for watching today. Again, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you click that subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you get notified each time I post a new video. If you'd like to keep up with me on other social platforms in addition to YouTube, you can find me at Sarah Grace Cookie Co. on Instagram and Facebook and Pinterest. Like I mentioned, that blog post and that download for the treat tags is in the description below. And I can't wait to see y'all next week. Y'all have a great week. Bye-bye.